Hello, today we're going to continue with if conditional step to and step three revision. It's kind of complicated and can, you might get confused about it. That's why I decided to make a review. First, let's start with the second conditional type two. Now, we said that we used past simple in the if clause and would with infinitive in second clause. So, we can use were instead of was with I, he, she, it. But usually it's done in formal writings. We said that uh, the second conditional had two uses. First usage is so while we're talking about things that well probably not going to be true in the future. It's kind of dream or imaginary. First one, if I won the lottery, I would buy a big house. So probably I will not win the lottery. If I met the Queen of England, I would say hello. Probably I will not meet her. She would travel all over the world if she were rich. But I'm not rich, that's why I cannot travel. It's an imaginary situation about the future. Second, uh, last one. She would pass the exam if she ever studied. But she never studies, so she will not pass the exam, you might say. Second usage is for talking about something in the present which is impossible. This is not true. Now here we have yeah, four, five examples. Let's take a look at them. If I had his number, I would call him. But actually I don't have his number, that's why I cannot call. It's impossible for me to call him. If I were you, I wouldn't go out with that man. But I'm not you. I can understand. If we weren't friends, I would be angry with you. But we are friends. If she passed the exam, she would be able to enter university. So this is, again, impossible. This is not true. Because she didn't pass the exam. That's why she couldn't enter university. They would go to Spain on holiday if they liked hot weather. But they do not like hot weather, that's why they will not go to Spain on holiday. Here I gave you a few examples. Let's pause the video and give you like let's say five minutes to complete that. All your works are given in parentheses. Again you have the structure, the uh, formula, let's say for seconds conditional. So fill in the blanks. We will check together. Okay, let's take a look. The first one. If I were you, I would get a new job. Second, if he were younger, or if he was younger, he would travel more. Now, if you remember, we said that were is used mostly for formal writing. Three, if we weren't friends, I would be angry with you. If I had enough money, I would buy a big house, but I don't have enough money for it. I cannot afford it. If she weren't always so late, she would be promoted, but she always late. If we won the lottery, we would travel the world. Again, we didn't spin the lottery, so we cannot travel it. If you had a better job, we would be able to buy a new car. But you do not gain enough money, so your job is not so good. If I spoke perfect English, I would have a good job. If we lived in Mexico, I would speak Spanish. If she passed the exam, she would be able to enter university. Okay, check your answers one more time. Here are more examples, more exercises for seconds conditional. Write them down in your notebooks, or you may just write uh, the word forms in your notebook. Okay, let's take a look now. She would be happier if she had more friends. But she doesn't have much friends. 
many friends, we would buy a house if we decided to stay here. They would have more money if they didn't buy so many clothes, but they spend so much money on shopping. That's why they don't have much money. We would come to dinner if we had time, but we don't have time. She would call him if she knew his number. They would go to Spain on holiday if they liked hot weather. Talked about this one. She would pass the exam if she studied more. I would marry someone famous if I were a movie star. We would never be late again if we got a new car. Okay, the last one you couldn't see it on previous slides. Okay. You would lose weight if you ate less. So, less you ate, more you're losing weight. Okay, what about type 3? If you remember, we said that after if, we're using past perfect. And in second clause, we're using would have and past participle. So, it talks about the past in general. It's used to describe a situation that didn't happen, but we are imagining the result. What if it was true? Okay, what if this happened? The first one. If she had studied, she would have passed the exam. But really, we don't know that she didn't study, and so she didn't pass. So we're imagining the result of that situation. If I hadn't eaten so much, but I have eaten, I wouldn't have felt sick. Means that I it ate a lot, and as a result, I did feel sick. If we had taken a taxi, we wouldn't have missed the plane. But we didn't call the taxi station, and we missed the plane already. She wouldn't have been tired if she had gone to bed earlier. So she could have more sleep, and she could feel better now. She would have become a teacher if she had gone to university. But she didn't go to university, that's why we can only imagine what the possible outcome, the possible results could be. He would have been on time for the interview if he had left the house at 9. But he didn't leave the house at time, that's why he was late for the interview. Try to fill in the blanks we have given words. Be careful with the negative structure here. Like in the first one, not be. So after if you are still using past perfect, in second clause you're using subject, would, have and past participle. So pause the video, complete the activity. We will review your answers together. The first sentence had to be like this. If you hadn't been late, we wouldn't have missed the bus. If she had studied, she would have passed the exam. If we had arrived earlier, we would have seen John. If they had gone to bed early, they wouldn't have woken up late. If he had become a musician, he would have recorded a CD. If she had gone to art school, she would have become a painter. If I had been born in a different country, I would have learned to speak a different language. If she had gone to university, she would have studied French. If we hadn't gone to the party, we wouldn't have met them. If he had taken the job, he wouldn't have gone traveling. Take a look at your answer sheet on the time. Okay, there are some more examples. Pause the video and in, let's say, four minutes, 
review answers. He would have been happier if he had stayed at home. But he didn't stay at home, that's why he is not happy now. She would have passed the exam if she had studied harder. We wouldn't have got married if he hadn't gone to the same university. But we went to the same university. That's why we are married. We get married. They would have been late if they hadn't been, if they hadn't taken a taxi. She wouldn't have met him if she hadn't come to London. He would have taken a taxi if he had had enough money. I would have called you if I hadn't forgotten my phone. He would have come if he had been invited, but he wasn't invited at least. She wouldn't have done it if she had known you were ill, but she didn't know that you were sick. He would have been on time if he had left earlier. Okay, review your answers. Okay, so this is it for today. If you have any questions in your mind, you're always free to send me a message on kaunikinet or uh, write me an email on the at So take care, see you next lesson.